Hey y'all and welcome back. So that right, th ambush hallway, that right there is why I went out of my way to, hi you go. Um. So now is where it starts that, if I remember right, is where it starts that uh, we should dedicate one day for every uh, social link. Senpai. Uh, main social link. Party member social link. There we go. Uh, but you can also spend this time to, uh, max out any social links that you were missing aside from Dojima, Nanako, god damn, everybody. Uh, Dojima, Nanako, and, uh, Ah, uh, fuck. Dojima, Nanako, Adachi. Those are the only three that you cannot max up if you miss the opportunity to. They do not come back for you to be able to, uh... Fucking Jesus! Good day. Yeah, well, anyways, uh, yeah, it's what, just one of those, uh, uh, just one of those, uh, spend all the time you can with your social links. Uh, today... Spend Thank time you. with Yukiko. I'm sorry to ask you here so suddenly. It feels a bit awkward going home today. What's wrong? Well, it's actually customer's day for me today. That's a day when the inn's employees take turns being customers. We've done it every now and then for a while, but I decided to participate this time, too. I wanted to see from a customer's point of view if our inn is truly satisfying. So I asked them to sign me up. You sound really dedicated. Oh, well, I'm always dedicated, though. I played customer once before, too, but it made me a little uncomfortable. It was strange having Mother and everyone say things like, Welcome to me. That's why I wanted to stay out of it a little longer. <laughs> but I brought this on myself. I told everyone at the inn that I hadn't planned to take over as manager, that I wanted to leave Inaba. Inaba. I thought it would be me finally coming clean to everyone. But they all just laughed and said they knew already. It made me realize how small I was. I was surrounded by good people, but I didn't understand that at all. I had myself convinced I had to bear my problems alone. I lied to myself, looked away from small opportunities, and only put my efforts into leaving it all behind. But after making so many good friends like you and Chie, I realized something. If I'm going to take one step at a time away from here, every step I use to run will take me somewhere I don't want to be. And if I keep averting my eyes, one day I might find myself blind to everything. When I open my eyes, I see how vast the world is. If I was alone, I think it would be incredibly scary. But fortunately, I'm surrounded by kind, supportive people. Now I hope I can grow into someone that can support them in turn. And so, like with Persona 5 Royal, our party members 
get a second awakening. For Yukiko, Amaterasu is reborn into... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. And she gets Burning Petals. Severe fire damage to all foes. Goodbye, Maragion. Funny that I got this before <laughs> fucking Maragi died. <laughs> My persona? I see. So I can still change. As long as all of you were with me, I think I can go on without making mistakes. So, I hope we'll always be friends. Oh, Sensei's home! I am. It did. And my Auto Matarukasha skill card came in. Alright, back out I go. Shopping district I go to turn in that Auto Matarukasha. Nato. Because, yeah, that's gonna be useful, even though it's. Redonkulously pricey. That's one less skill that I have to finagle onto a uh, persona. And Lady in White ain't here. Well, thank you for your efforts. I don't know why I just went to Shrine when I needed, uh... So just at, I'm just doing this as a proof of concept, as I've really got nothing else to, uh, do at this particular moment. These nighttime meetups do not count towards the uh, second awakenings. Sucks, but just how it goes. Ambush hallway. What's up? Yo. Mind me while I just check around for potential new quests. Ointment, nice. All right, we'll go on and uh, hang with Yosuke. Actually, before I do that, one second. I almost completely forgot to check something because it's not snowing anymore. Okay, looks like I was wrong, and I did completely miss, uh, 
Oh, that sucks, but I got almost all of them. And it was only a sub goal. Oh, almost forgot about the cat, though. Here, have an octopus. That's not a fish. <laughs> uh. All right, now we'll get our uh, magic in on. All right. It's been a while since I last talked to you one on one like this. It's been pretty busy in the department I work in. I'm still doing that consultation thing, too. Want me to punch you again? I caused you some trouble, too, with that mess at Juness. Yeah, it's not a problem. Really? <laughs> That's good to know. Back then, I was constantly irritated, wondering why that stuff was happening to me. I was overworked just because I was the store manager's son. And on top of that, tons of people took me for granted. I thought no one was thinking about me. But that's not how I feel now. I took a roundabout way realizing this, but one constant in my life is that people rely on me. I thought before that I was shameless for being like that, but I just don't mind it. When I'm doing things for other people, it helps me try harder. You try hard. Nanako-chan was kidnapped. Didn't you think I was surprisingly on top of things? <laughs> I'm not going to be an ass. Yeah, you were. <laughs> now that you say it like that, I feel pretty lame. In any case, I tried pretty hard at the time. Of course, I was serious about wanting to save Nanako-chan and solve the case. But mainly, it was because I thought you were going through some tough times. I mean, I was arrested, yes. When we were debating dropping Namatame into the TV, I was just seeing red. I was so overwhelmed with hate and wanting to blame everything on him that I stopped thinking for myself. I think the same could be said about what happened to Juness. People just think about their own interests. But if I ignore them and say it's none of my business, I won't get anywhere. I'll forget what's important, and I won't be able to be proud of myself. I won't be able to say I did my best. I want to keep pushing myself like that. I want the people I care about to be happy. And Yosuke Second Awaken. Susano. Transforms into Magma Afro. Uh, yeah, it's just Takayama, or sorry, Takehaya Suzano. We get Youthful Wind. I'm not actually entirely sure if he'll use it or not, but I'll take it anyways. It's Diorama with the added uh, Sukukaja effect on it. Honestly, as uh, Yosuke gets leveled up, I might very well just override it because I've got other New better power? healing options. Huh. Is this for real? There's a lot I'm grateful for from this past year, but the biggest thing... I think it was that I met you. If you ever lose your way, I'll go knock some sense into you. It won't matter if you're at the ends of the earth or in somewhere dark and bleak. That's what partners are for, right? I'll knock you out instead. That makes no sense. We're talking about if you start screwing up and your punches hurt. 
I'll never lose my way if it'll keep me from feeling those again. Oh, Sensei's home! Yep, keep working on that model. So the one quest I missed is only completable after you turn in the branch headband for the twin over at the uh, Samagawa floodplains. And it's a back and forth type of mission where you talk to one twin, talk to the other, talk to the other again. Uh, so I'm not exactly missing out on too much by missing it, oh, Ambush Hallway. Uh, but, eh, sucks that I missed it. I'm not reloading all the way back to before finishing Heaven in order to complete it. I'll capture the footage of doing it on my second playthrough. As I'll have much more time open to uh, get the uh, to be able to just go into the damn uh, TV world, do the mission, come back, and then go in again to finish heaven. Yep. Thank you, Senpai. Was it okay to come out today? Did you have anything you needed to do? Only to get your second awakening. You remember when I told you before that I had a number one fan? A girl who was being bullied and would send me letters? She sent me another letter. She says she's going to stop being my fan. She's made friends with someone, but her new friend is a fan of someone else. It seems she was told something like, I'll quit being your friend if you stay a Rosette fan. She did say that she'll be cheering for me in her heart, but she won't be sending me any more letters. Well, you got another fan right here. You mean you, Senpai? <laughs> you really are kind. Relationships between people are difficult, aren't they, Senpai? There's something like a mutual respect between her and me. I don't even know what she looks like. But I know she has a pure heart. I also know that she's persistent. But when another person enters the picture, things suddenly get complicated. Throw in four or five people and it's pure chaos. There's no malice involved, and it's no one's fault. Yet, we end up hurting each other, becoming lost. It, it makes me so tired sometimes. That's why I want to keep trying my best. I mean, I am an idol after all. <sighs> Just don't tire yourself out. Make sure you stop me when it looks like I'm trying too hard, okay? I think I'll be able to listen to any advice you have to tell me, Senpai. An idol isn't some doll in a window being held up for public display. I think it means somebody who can endure things and stand their ground, no matter which way they're pushed. Even if that girl doesn't write me letters, I bet she'll still watch me if I'm on TV. I can be her strength, as well as many other people's strengths. Even though many things may not go my way and I may be troubled, swept off my feet and get lost, I won't lose. I have to protect the smiles of the people who are precious to me. That's the resolve I found after meeting all of you. And resave Persona Evolves. Into Kozeon. Complete analysis. Overrides the full analysis and is much better than full analysis. So 
So, full analysis would allow only one weakness or resistance. I can tell. I sense a power inside of me that I didn't have before. I've learned so many important things from the people I hold dear to me. Senpai, I feel like my heart is about to burst. I'm so excited about the future now. Hardship and sadness and everything, it can all be changed into the power to take a step forward. I'm still just getting started. You and everyone else, you're all gonna keep changing too, in your own ways. And when I smile on TV, I'm smiling for you. So you smile too, Senpai. You have me and everyone else, Senpai. When spring comes around and we have to say goodbye, it'll be sad, sure, but we'll be okay. Uh, so we'll take a look at uh, complete analysis. So full analysis would... Oh, Sensei's home! Uh, so, complete analysis, uh, foe skills, affinities, including those you haven't tried. Basically, we just now know what uh, enemies are weak or resistant to. Alright. So, we got a McCoy doll earlier, and just finished a second model robot. And yeah, that's what uh, the robot stuff does. There is an achievement, achievement tied to... Uh, doing those robots, uh, doing all of them, just like there's an achievement tied to, uh, what's the word? Reading all the books and all that. <laughs> All right. Well, not much else to do today. Just to show again, everything's maxed up except for Adachi. Uh, I mean, with not much else to do, I might as well just uh, read this and we'll see y'all next time.